We have had so many stories of the hero. I mean, most of the stuff that we read and watch, it's, you know, you, you go back to Joseph Campbell, to Joseph Campbell, and he breaks it down, you know, the hero's journey or the hero with a thousand faces and breaks down all of these archetypes of first the society and the hero somehow always remains central because the hero has to go through a lot of tests, a lot of uh, ups and downs in different angles in trying to find them eventually themselves. So this character is in that journey. But what I like or what I try to communicate or at least what happens in my mind, I think always for my characters as not, not the saviors only, they're in themselves exhibiting um, many, different, many different variations of characters. And I think that's very true for us as people. We are many people inside and it is up to us which one of those people we want to explore or bring out. And life maybe is best lived having experienced as many of those people as possible. And this space, this in-between space, I think is something that I am much more interested in, in how I create most of the characters I, in my works. I think, I think of Dondolo, um, the, the witch doctor's assistant, He's exhibiting these contradictory elements. He, he is here standing tall, hybrid in his nature. He's, he's, he's taller in stature, he's taller than me. As when I stand in front of the painting, he's like taller than me. So I kind of wanted to have a very regal um, uh, stance to work. So there's, there's almost like an effortless element in how he is able to carry out this supposedly very, very hard uh, labor uh, in carrying this precious stone to the, to, to the witch. But the stone itself is so troubled. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. It's, it's spiky, it's pokey, it's, 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 got, it's got this other thing to it that is almost underworld. And, and here I am taking a character like that creating like create setting them off on a on an otherworldly journey and they become mythologized and they almost speak of something even broader or maybe even much more um, beyond what I can even explain.